you know what month it is. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and in this video, we are going to take a closer look at some October releases from Cromlech. It's that month again. It's 2022. I guess we've been doing this for about four years now. Everybody's got it worked over, and uh, well, they got quite the lineup over there. But maybe even more important, or equally as important, I suppose, is they have a brand new website that uh, is completely redone. Very, very easy to navigate, very slick, very kind of modern looking, and I'm, I'm actually quite jealous of it. It's one of the better websites for retailers out there. So I'm gonna show you that too, and show you some of the, uh, the freebies and offerings and special deals that they have over there. Uh, just so you know, you can uh, figure out what you wanna do with those hobby dollars, cause, uh, cause it's work time, baby. So here it is, it's uh, again, bitsofwar.com, but if you go to it, and that, if you could see it right here, of course, it is way different. Uh, this site is pretty dope. So this is just the, the main bits of war portal. And then remember they have all these other uh, places that you can actually pick stuff up from too. So they got Chromic proper, which basically goes into all of the uh, categories and things for all the Chromic releases. They have Tabletop Scenics, which is all their, you know, HDF and, and other assorted offerings, uh, resin terrain and such. Um, I don't know what this is. I guess they have a 3D workshop now. I, I, I I didn't know they were doing 3D bits, but hey, there it is. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at that. Modeling basing. They have some really great model bases. Um, if you haven't checked them out, they're definitely pretty dope. They can be kind of pricey. I mean, all their stuff can be pricey if you just go straight, straight resin route. But I think it's definitely worth it in the long run to have something dope, you know, to fit into your army or have, or just go the economical route and pick up a bunch of bits, right? Like we've been saying forever. Gaming accessories, so they got uh, resin, uh, template or acrylic templates, um, dice, they have all sorts of stuff in here and then exclusives too. So they have member discounts, you get points when you buy stuff, they got free shipping over 150 euros, which is pretty close to the dollar these days. So you can always go in with your with your buds and try to, um, you know, get a big order together and then get, get some free shipping on it too. So the new stuff, new products are gonna be in here, but then it kind of cycles through and just kind of goes back. So if you're interested in a particular thing, you wanna go over here to like Cromlech or the Scenics tab, and then that will get you into where it's a little bit more kind of dialed in on, on products and things. And it's really slick. Uh, they have the currency converter. They're not gonna rake you over the coals on arbitrage like we showed in the past. Certain companies out there make now 50% of their profit from charging us to convert our own money into their arbitrary money and it's just ludicrous. But uh, Cromlick doesn't. You can convert between uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Euro, British pound. Uh, I don't know what that is, but that's their own currency <laughs> there in Poland. And I, I, I'm the worst at saying words sometimes. And the US dollar, of course, I can say that one. Uh, so let's talk about new stuff. So all sorts of cool Orktober releases here. You can, you can scroll through. Um, all the pages down here, or if you know, hey, I'm looking for a particular thing, like, hey, I want the new Wild Tribes. Um, those are gonna be under Orcs and Goblins, which are right here. I have to keep looking over at my screen because my screen is bigger than what my uh, recording screen is, and I have old people eyes at this point, so it's really hard for me to actually see what I'm looking at right here. Anyways, if you're wondering why I keep looking away, it's because I can't physically see the print. I need to do better. Um, so their site's really good, it just really doesn't look that great to my uh, to my computer eye, I suppose. All right, so Wild Tribe Squad in here, we're gonna show you this today, it's $49. Uh, we got this guy here, the War Chief, on, um, I don't even know what that is. What is that, like a boar? Oh, it's a cyborg, sweet. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. And I really like how you can dial in and see all the components and everything in here. That's pretty neat, because I'm very, especially when you're doing conversion bits, you wanna see how they all fit on here. So we got a squad of 10 duders here, the wild tribes and then of course you know if you don't want to go this is always going to be a more expensive route right up here right but say you're just like yo i just want i just want the dudes i got my own arms and stuff and i'll show you the scale of these two because i think it's a little bit smaller than the new beast snagas but it's on par with the existing orc boys from games workshop so if you're looking to if you got extra arm sets or you got extra torso sets well then you can come in here and buy these bits to make them look a little bit different and kind of spice up uh, your ranks there, which which I think is the economical way to go. But if you just want to scoop up full squads of 10 at $49, you know, I, it, orcs at this point, 
they're right they're right close to the plastics from GW right so it's like do you want the same thing that everybody else is gonna have that has been out for you know 15 20 years or do you want the new hotness the new freshness that looks just as good you can do conversion opportunities uh, if you buy this set right here which if you take a look it's sixteen dollars that you get two of these is thirty two two sets of head actually no you're only gonna need one set of heads so that's forty dollars at that point and then you're gonna need two sets of these at 16, so that's another 32. There's actually a significant discount to picking up the box as opposed to buying it a la carte as bits. So if you do wanna split it up and just get a bunch of conversion bits for your plastics, it might be worth just picking up a couple box sets because then you'll, you know, depending on what you need because you'll have extra torsos or perhaps you'll have extra, you know, um, um, slug a chopa variants. And then that way it just make your whole army look unique and really, really cool. Or maybe you just want to go the route and just have a cool leader guy, you know, instead of the, the dinosaur T-Rex looking squig, you want the cyborg and your, your guy on that. And that's cool. And that's what makes this hobby super dope. And you know, anybody that's like, you can't play without miniature because it's not Games Workshop. Well, there's not a lot of those events out there and they're usually put on by Games Workshop. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. As far as how product comes, uh, generally the bigger kits are going to come in boxes and have this cool kind of wrapper sort of thing on it. Um, you're not going to be able to slide it out. You're going to have to kind of carefully, I think they glue it on there or, or what have you, but it's pretty neat nonetheless. I mean, um, and then you're going to get into the actual bits themselves. Now everything is wrapped in uh, very carefully in, in bubble wrap here. You're going to get a big bag of bits. Uh, as far as all the resin stuff goes and i also noticed they started putting in this uh how to work with resin guide here so there is that which is really nice um resin generally you know it's not something to be afraid of a lot of people are like oh f forge world you know th this stuff is terrible and a lot of cases it isn't necessarily the material it's the quality and the qc of it coming out of forge world because you know when it comes to forge roll they'll take something like this that rolls off you know comes off the, the line and before it actually cures and sets in the molds uh in a lot of cases they just pop the stuff out of the mold and they just throw it on the, the table and just start boxing it up so you'll get something put together like this and it'll literally warp or you know kind of bend over itself in the bag and you'll you'll see that when you get it and you're like i can literally tell this this piece like was put into this bag and then eventually just kind of hardened completely because there's a little bit of time involved between demolding stuff um you know and in it actually completely curing depending on uh, the material you're using so it doesn't appear like and, it, and i've never noticed that chromic does cuts any quarters like that and <clears throat> their quality control is usually pretty top notch i mean i've bought from them before we started working with them that showcase you their products here and we've had instances where, where, you know, there was issues and like, you know, they straight up got a whole kit out uh, across, you know, the ocean to us. Um, when I had my store way, way back in the day, we actually carried uh, this stuff. We were one of the, the few people in the States that actually carried this stuff because it was great. It came in little blisters. You could put it on the shelf. And at the time, GW was getting away from that. And, um, you know, their, their customer service for the local people was, was really good. Now, let's, uh, so here's the contents here. Like I said, it all comes on these sprues now with all the different parts and everything. Um, the one thing I'm not sure about is instructions. I haven't seen any instructions, so I'm going to kind of jump back at the site here and look at that real quick. I don't know if there's a downloads folder. No, it doesn't seem like there is. Product details, attachments. Well, they have a... They have a download for the working with resin guy, but it doesn't seem like they have an instruction manual here, um, which is kind of unfortunate. But if you're any sort of savvy with modeling, you can probably take a look and kind of dry fit everything together here and kind of figure out how it goes. You're getting that extreme close up on some of the details here. Uh, obviously, it reminds me of the uh, University of Arkansas <laughs> mascot or uh, football team there. Uh, the detail is great here. I mean, this is unfilled resin, you know, super crisp fur. I mean, look at all that detail right there. The face looks great. You know, there's no there's no little pieces of uh, RTV rubber that's stuck in the mold or anything like that, which is really cool. That has happened in the past from some other manufacturers out there. I won't name names. But uh, but yeah, it looks like all the parts go together pretty good. And they've got the, the glyphs and everything kind of pre-cut in there so you can just do a little bit of uh, tracing so to speak or uh, filling it in I guess paint by number is a more accurate kind of result here now it looks like this guy goes on here 
pretty easy. I don't know if I, yeah, you probably could magnetize them just so you could remove them pretty easy. There's a nice, uh, nice big uh, bottom right there and another nice big bottom that you get a good size magnet. Now, how big are those weapons? Well, so yeah, I think, it, I think it will hold. I think it definitely would hold. I mean, all the, let's take a look at his head. Where's his head at? Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's super fresh. Got some uh, some extra bits there too. I'm not sure how they all go together, but they got lots of images. Basically, all of the angles I'm looking at their site right now uh, for this guy. So I don't think I'd have any problem putting it together. Uh, which, and then see, he's kind of standing on this thing. Oh, he's got that really cool little hacker thing, chopper, super chopper, big chopper, whatever you want to call it. It works. It doesn't matter. And here is the assembled version. I didn't realize it at first either, but there's two different arms. Uh, they can both be magnetized. Unfortunately, there isn't two different shoulder pads on there, which is a little bit of a bummer, but not that big of a deal because uh, you could magnetize it perhaps, or you might be able to magnetize this. Um, probably more work than it's worth though. You could probably, if you're a work player, you probably have an extra bit. You could just glue on this and then just magnetize the arm in there uh, to future proof this mini as well. But, uh, but yeah, yeah man, I, I love the composition of this. Uh, the, I didn't realize this crazy uh, board top here and everything that has going on his little uh, his little robo mo mohawk style boar mohawk and just running over this piece of ter terrain here is just uh, wild indeed uh, it's really really cool just really good composition and everything um, something else I didn't notice you will have to glue this down right here which isn't a big deal because I feel like this is still paintable even if it's glued down and it doesn't have a lot of profile going up. So, I mean, if you can store this in your bag, I don't feel like it's too much of an ask uh, to be quite honest. And don't forget on the bases, if you want to put a little bit of really good basing material, you can get the Liquitex resin sand. Uh, we have a link to it in the description and also in the comments. Um, that stuff doesn't recede or anything like that. So it won't really cover up the feet or the, the terrain pieces much there. But just to give you an idea of scale, that's a Primaris Marine and I want to say this is an 80 mil base right there, but I might be off. That might be a hundred mil. Now that I think about it, we should probably measure it just so you know, but obviously you can put any size, um, you can put that on any size base that you want. Yeah, it's about a hundred mil. Actually, no, not a hundred mil. Three inches. I believe that is 80 mils to, uh, 2.5 I believe is 60 millimeters. Let's look it up. That is 76.2 millimeters. So it's slightly over three inches. So yeah, it's probably 80 millimeter base, which uh, which makes sense, I suppose. But yeah, that's uh, that's the size on all that. Just to give you an idea there, it goes together. Not a whole lot of pieces. Um, everything dry fits really well. So just in none of the parts were warped or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about the uh, the forge world effect. I don't want to poo-poo forge world too much, but they, they make good stuff and they put out good stuff, but the majority of their stuff is uh, is really crap as of late, which is uh, really unfortunate. I can't even tell you the last time we did a forge world review on this channel um, because we're not going to encourage bad behavior and ridiculous pricing at this point, I suppose. Okay, so now get off that uh, down note there. Orc Wild Tribe Squad, like I said, this is your basic troops uh, for orcs and you know, there's a whole lot of advantages and potential disadvantage if you, you know, you're trying to just create all squads with this. Maybe maybe one um, detraction there. Also, I, I did notice this doesn't come with a, a big shooter version or um, a rocket version, which I'm sure you could really make a rocket version pretty easily. Everybody's got extra rockets. Um, or you could just say it counts as, like who cares at that point, right? So it just gives you an idea of what comes in here. So it is a good deal over buying the stuff a la carte. I'm not gonna show you the pieces because you pretty much figure that out by now. But these guys are on, um, these actually, I think are the 32s. Yeah, those are the 32s. So they're on 32 millimeter bases and there's all sorts of these bad boys right here. Um, there's just a bunch of cool poses. You got some dudes with the, you know, the sideways gat kind of look and some goggles, some steampunk kind of styles. Some more traditional here with a really cool kind of rippy blade. I mean, I'm sure it's a chopper, but everything's a chopper at this point. Um, I just like the, the take on it all, right? It's just very, very cool and very, very different. Um, so not, not exactly um, something we're super useful right there, but definitely kind of cool to see. There's that guy. And then we've got 
uh, this guy here with a more traditional kind of uh, orc, orc head right there. And Mohawk, kind of Necromunda dude with a grenade launcher. Where's the other dude actually loading a grenade launcher? Oh, here he is. I love this guy right here. Very traditional kind of work. All the detail is really crisp. Um, I imagine these things would paint up uh, very, very quick. They do seem normal Orc Boys style, but I like how they don't have that, that hunch to them. Um, and they do have a little bit of uh, kind of different capes and clothing accoutrements and things right there. So you can really get in here and get wild with it or just kind of standardize them all. Uh, whatever you want to do, there really isn't any right or wrong answer um, when it kind of comes to, to orcs. And I think we all know that. And then here's the size perspective just to give you an idea compared to a primary space marine. So super, super easy. Everything makes sense here. It's exactly like I would expect to see. So two great, two of the many great kits for Orktober uh, that are headed your way, well, right now. So that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching our video, our unboxing build of the new Orc Wild Tribes War Chief and Tribes Squad. Uh, like I said, two of the many new releases here from Cromlech in Orktober 2022. So check out the site, it's bitsofwar.com and then you can select from any of those uh, wonderful stores there. But before you go over there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on. Just It's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybits.